Hey guys, Youngblood with you, and we're going to do a really quick version of the Should You Buy on the new Argo ship because it's up for sale now. And take note, as of this moment, it's only up for sale for four days through August 29th, not the normal 10 day period. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if that ends up being extended, but for right now, four days is all you're going to get. Anyways, the Argo is made by Argo Astronomics, and we're talking specifically about the MPUV, or the Multipurpose Utility Vehicle, which consists of the cab portion, uh, which is going to be used for all variants of the Argo, and then the role-specific module that it's going to end up carrying. Now there's going to be two versions of the Argo that are up for sale today, the first of which is used by the UEE for rearming their larger vessels, and many other ports are going to use these in mass numbers to kind of swarm cargo ships and help them, uh, you know, like mass offload the cargo. And that's going to be the MPUV-1C, or the Cargo Argo, or Argo Cargo. Either way. Um, that's going to be on sale for $35. Now, the second version of the ship is the one that the UEE uses to take on uh, military members from other locations to their stations on big capital ships, uh, like we see in the beginning of the Morrow Tour, and by civilians commonly as a taxi service, and that's going to be the MPUV-1P for $40. Now, for those of you who already own an Idris, you're going to be getting the personnel variant, and for those of you who own a Javelin, you're going to be getting the cargo version. So this would be a video that would be really easy to overcomplicate. So I'm going to really try and not even talk about a whole lot of things here, specifically like stats, because it doesn't matter on a ship like this. And we're not going to talk a ton about the look or the potential flight model, since I've already showcased that in the 2.5 release videos. So let's just talk about who this vehicle is actually right for. And the honest answer is that the Argo is wrong for most of you. If you want a ship that's incapable of leaving a system that it starts out in, um, at least under its own power, if it has no weapons, lower grade components, and cost about the same as the starter ship, then the Argo is for you. Okay, that's a little bit snarky. Uh, but it's important to know that the number of people who should be buying this ship right now is really low. Now the first question is, do you own a ship big enough to carry one? If it's not an Idris, a Javelin, or a Bengal, don't count on it. It barely fits in the Starfare, and that's got one of the bigger access points of really any ship. And since you have no Quantum or Jump Engine, it's really only of value if it can end up being carried. Okay, so if you can't carry one, are you someone who ends up wanting to be a space taxi, either taking goods from orbit to port or maybe people from port to orbit? If so, then the cargo is actually a pretty good option for you, um, but you better like where you're starting out at because you're not leaving anywhere under your own power. But getting to the people that this ship might actually be right for, um, the number one suggestion is this is probably going to be the cheapest LTI token a lot of you are going to get at this point, which basically means that you can buy this, then take advantage of the CCU system to upgrade to another ship, but get LTI on that ship. Hint, uh, if you're interested in the Reliant, uh, that's a good example. It's a good example of one that's for sale right now if you want LTI on that ship. Now, if you have a ship that's actually capable of carrying an Argo, I love the idea of buying one of these and using it as like a dropship for Marines. Uh, and they seem kind of mandatory for getting cargo on your ship, but here's the deal. If your ship can carry one, you're already getting one. <laughs> So you're basically buying you know, more for the sake of either carrying more for efficiency's sake or for kind of differentiating roles. You know, if you have an Idris, you could then all of a sudden get the cargo version if you wanted one. Now, I hope they find a way to make this ship fit into other ships a little bit better. But for right now, it's a really hard ship for me to recommend to you guys. That's even harder to say when they promise a search and rescue variant that's going to be coming with med facilities that we're going to get more information on soon. And as awesome as that sounds, if nobody can carry it, it's still a limited option ship. Now, if, <clears throat> if they do a Q&A on this, I'd love for them to give more reasons to buy one, because where it stands today, I really can't recommend this ship to the vast majority of you. But if you guys have good reasons to buy one, please get them in the comments. Otherwise, I appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned for more, and I'll catch you guys later. Take care.